This film will show how J.B. Priestley and his wife, archaeologist Jaquetta Hawkes, played key roles in the development of the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, CND. Priestley had been warning of the dangers of the arms race since the 1930s, drawing on his experiences of the Great War. In 1957, the couple shared growing public disquiet about Britain's nuclear policy, particularly hydrogen bomb testing on Christmas Island. Priestley shared his concerns in an article in the magazine The New Statesman, in which he refuted the arguments used in favour of Britain's nuclear deterrent, concluding that the idea of the deterrent was madness and the best course for Britain would be to discard its H-bombs altogether. He said, Alone we defied Hitler, and alone we can defy this nuclear madness. There may be other chain reactions besides those leading to destruction, and we might start one. Readers agreed. The magazine was overwhelmed with sacksfuls of letters. The Priesties and existing peace groups and campaigners met at the flat of Kingsley Martin, the magazine's editor, to discuss a national anti-nuclear campaign. The campaign for nuclear disarmament was born, with Earl Russell as president, Priestie as vice president and Canon John Collins as chairman. CND was launched publicly in the Central Hall Westminster on 17th February 1958. Priestley, of course, was one of the speakers. Jaquetta felt that women had a particular role to play in nuclear disarmament, fighting for their children and the world against corrupted masculine madness. She set up a women's group within CND which published pamphlets, arranged all women public meetings, lobbied to governments and the United Nations. It later became the CND Women's Advisory Committee, again chaired by Jaquetta, which made formal links with international women's organisations. Unlike Jaquetta, Priestley disliked what he called the world of committees and minutes and meetings. He believed his contribution as a writer and speaker was more valuable to the cause, for example his March 1958 television play Doomsday for Dyson, and Stars in Our Eyes, a fundraising event at the Festival Hall in 1959. CND's most famous activity was the Aldermaston Marches. Priestley did not march, he had marched enough during the First World War, but Jaquetta was actively involved. The first march, in Easter 1958, arranged by the Direct Action Committee but joined by CND, marched from London to the Weapons Research Establishment at Aldermaston. CND took over the 1959 march, and Jaquetta suggested a reversal of route from Aldermaston to London, towards the centre of political power to influence the decision-makers. This change of route symbolises the division between the Direct Action Committee, who believed in civil disobedience, whereas Jaquetta and others on the CND executive aimed to change government policy by achieving mass support. In October 1960, Lord Russell resigned as president after a split over this issue. Priestley, of course, characteristically took the opportunity to resign. By the time their friend Canon Collins also resigned in 1964, the Priestleys felt that the original aims of the movement had been taken over by others for extreme political ends. Jaquetta resigned from the executive, although she continued to be sympathetic to CND into the 1970s.